top five fitness mistakes. Let's get into it. Okay, number one is cheating yourself, and this is something I think everyone is guilty of, especially at the start. It's very easy when you get to start at the gym to really cut out things that need to be done. Uh, you only hitting two sets instead of three, or cheating on your nutrition, having that extra snack. And then if you do this long enough, you'll realize that these negative things start to compound. Before you know it, you'll go, why am I not seeing any results? And then by simply allowing yourself to cheat, you're not gonna achieve your goals. I really recommend sticking to your regimen, sticking to your program, your nutrition, and the psychology of your regimen, because that's gonna produce consistent and efficient results over the person who kind of deviates from what they need to do. You guys need to understand, if you wanna win, you gotta do what it takes to win, and I think that is the mentality that you need to come into the fitness game knowing. The real Miami, the MIA, this is where we hustle. Every day I'm hustling, 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 every day I'm every day I'm every day I'm hustling. Before we jump into number two, please smash that like button. You guys know we love that like love. If you like this video, let us know you liked it by liking it. It's as simple as that. Drop a comment, especially if you like these kinds of videos where we kind of give you that inside guru knowledge from your uh, your favorite fitness coaches, right? Okay, so number two is taking advice from non-natural lifters. Lane Norton said this in one of his podcasts, and I think this stands so true. Just because someone looks good doesn't mean they know what they're doing. If you want to take advice from someone who's seven foot tall on how to become seven foot tall, some people have superior genetics, they have steroids, they have other enhancements, things that you don't have. Make sure you guys are following people like Colossus Fitness who are really knowledgeable, humble, nice guys. <laughs> because people that are like you, that are natural lifters, are going to have the same struggles, the same results, and you're going to be able to follow that advice over someone who's roided up and who's going to have 400 grams of protein, and that is not sustainable and realistic for a natural lifter. So make sure you guys are listening listening to people that are actually in the same boat as you. Don't kind of just listen to anyone or famous fitness celebrity trainers and any kind of weird guru thing. You guys want to make sure whatever you're doing is sustainable, proven, and something that just overall works. Just like your DNA, that won't don't exist. Born on side a jellyfish I gauge. See my pedigree most definitely don't tolerate the front. Shit I been through probably offend you. This is Paula's oldest son. I know murder, conviction, burners, boosters, burglars, ballers, dead. Redemption scholars, fathers dead with kids and I wish I was fed Forgiveness, yeah, 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 yeah Soldier's DNA, born inside the beast Number three guys, common mistake is not investing the proper amount of time into learning how to do each exercise And I cannot stress this enough Instead of me standing here and teaching you guys how to do each exercise properly I highly recommend going through our playlist where we teach you guys how to do that I see so many people and I stress this so much because everyone goes into the gym as a beginner and they do exercises improperly and they take it take advice from people who don't know how to do it they just perform a deadlift improperly and they do that over every single workout they're doing a thousand reps over time and that's a thousand improper reps and it's going to take so long to learn it properly so if you're a beginner learn it off the bat properly and you will thank us later number four slash three point five i think that's how you single it with your hands i want you guys to pop down three point five in the comments comment what you think Whatever you think is the number one tip out of either this video or out of your own experience to help other people out. Comments are a cool place to hang out. I love reading them, so drop that comment, show that love. In fact, if you guys made it to here and you're loving this content, if you drop a comment, I'm gonna pick one person to win a Rising Legends t-shirt so you can look swagged up like us, since that's how we roll. But number four, guys, it's nice and easy. It's don't start as an expert when you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, know that you are indeed a beginner. I know too many people want to jump into this crazy, unsustainable kind of mantra of fitness, and they just want to jump in and be like the pros. You know, they want to deadlift, like Kyle said, that 315, and then with the wrong form, you're going to get injuries. You push yourself too hard, you're also going to get injured, you're going to get burnt out, and these are things that will kill you early on. This is my number one fitness mistake. Even for someone like myself, I can't go and do Dan Green's fitness regimen. I'm going to die. I haven't accumulated myself that much power in volume. And that's something people really can't seem to understand. So make sure that you guys are starting at that nice basic point, work up from that, develop something sustainable, and push yourself accordingly over time. Man, I just wanna go fast. Hold on my teeth and on my neck. And I'm stone cold with the flags from the squad and I'm signing up a check. Uh, yeah. 
Push the gas, get a motherfucking nose ring. She ain't never met a young and do it like me. She got a man, but she says she really like me. She doing things to excite me. Number five common mistake is not trusting the process and expecting to see results too fast. And I just honestly believe that every single beginner lifter really um, expects to see their muscles blow up in like one week. Like honestly, I cannot stress how important consistency is. If someone's getting into the gym every single day for one hour versus someone who's getting in every couple weeks for three hours, that person who's consistent and doesn't expect to see results overnight, um, over time, they're gonna benefit greatly. And I highly recommend just trusting the process, learning how nutrition works, and uh, yeah guys, if you guys want to see a part two, make sure to like this, subscribe to us if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Remember to comment down below your number one common mistake.